So next up in our MySQL series is going to be the if and null if functions. So I'm going to leave a link to the documentation page for all the control flow functions down below. Um, if you've been following along with this series, then you've already got all the tables and everything that you need. If you haven't, then this is the same SQL file as from the last video. You can uh, download this, you can copy and paste this into phpMyAdmin to create all the tables and all the data that we're going to be working with. Uh, you can download it here from the code just link and inside of it will be the SQL file that you can import. So inside of phpMyAdmin, once we have all the tables, the movies table is the one that I'm going to be working with for these examples. And I'm going to show you the if function and the null if function. Now there is uh, an if statement that you can also use, but that is typically used inside of a stored procedure. This is when I'm writing a select statement and I want to put some sort of conditional logic inside of it. So right now, this query on its own, I'm getting two columns, movie ID, movie title, from movies as M. Uh, I'll copy that because I'm going to leave the page in a second. Uh, here's the data that we're getting. Now, what I want to do with my if statement is I'm going to search through here and find all of the movies that have the word the in the title. So we've got the Phoenix, the Dark Crystal, the Hobbit. Anywhere there's a the, I want to find that. And then I'm going to have another column with a message that I leave. So how do we do that? Well, there is an if function and we can put an alias on this. So let's just call it message like that. Now inside the if, there are three parameters that we put. And these are three sort of expressions. The first one is, what's the logic that you want to follow? Inside of here, I'm going to say if m.movieTitle like, and it's the same sort of expression that you would have when you're working with a filter like in a where clause, if I put down here where movie title like the, I would filter my results, but I don't want to filter the results. I want to get all the results back. It's just the data that's going to be in this column called message is going to be different. So what happens is with the if, the first one, the first expression, this is some sort of logical statement and it's going to come back to a true or a false value. Does the movie title include the? If it does, then I'm going to have the second expression. If it doesn't, the third. It's very much like a ternary operator. So if you've used ternary operators in any other programming languages, it's the same sort of idea. You have a statement or an expression. Inside that expression, you get the result. Or from that expression, you get the result, true or false. And then the true value and the false value go here. And this could be just a value, or it could be an expression, some sort of calculated value. It's up to you. I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm going to put the string inside of here saying the movie and if it doesn't include it, I'm going to return null. So we can use this as a keyword here, just all in capitals, null. So I'm going to get either this value or this value in the column message along with these other ones and I've got to make sure I put the comma here at the end. So there's our statement. We'll run that. And there we go. Anything that has the inside of it is now going to have the movie and all the other columns are going to have null as this message. Okay, great. So that's the if function. Now there's another one called null if. Null if just uses two arguments. Basically, it's going to take one value or one expression and then a second expression. If the two expressions are equal, it's going to return null. Otherwise, it will return whatever the first expression is. So we've got expression one and expression two. If one and two are equal, we get null. If one and two are not equal, we get the first one. All right, so let's do this. Let's say we want to uh, compare the value of genre ID with some value. So I'm going to check and see if genre ID is 2. If genre ID is 2, we're going to have null. If they're not equal, meaning if genre ID is 1 or 5 or something else, we're going to have the value of this number. So let's say 
not sci-fi. And we run that. Here we go. So, not sci-fi. All those are coming up as null. So wherever it's not sci-fi, null is the value that we're getting. So the 1, the 5, and if there were other values, those would show up as well. Maybe it'd be better to say sci-fi null as a column heading. There we go. So wherever it's sci-fi, null is the value. All right, and that's it. That's if and null if, two functions that can be very useful inside of a select statement when you want to uh, grab individual cases and compare the values. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. I will leave a link to the SQL file. I'll also leave a link to the reference for the control flow functions. And as always, thanks for watching.